So you're reading an article online and suddenly you receive an WhatsApp message which tells you an astonishing news, something like the, the TikTok, the TikTok, most famous application musically TikTok has been banned. So it's a news, so you have to share it. So you immediately share it in your social media. And then when you're reading your Facebook, then you happen to see a video about JCB, the most current trend going on around the world. JCB, viral videos, JCB, memes and suddenly you want to know more about JCB. What is a JCB tractor? How does it work? Why is it so famous now? Right. So you open your Wikipedia and read about it and then you tweet about it. Right. So and then there is another time when you are using your YouTube and you see a viral video about a, a Punjabi Goli Battawala, some video which is going on uh, virally around Punjabi singers and people are making videos, mimes and then songs on it and you wonder who is this person and you research on it, right? This is what five minutes on internet looks like right and quite frankly majority of us live like this all the time right we are gaining so many information whether if it is about some news some trending thing about PUBG or about that winkle girl any trending topic is catching on your attention and basically, this is what you are doing do all the time. So obviously, the this all process has to have some kind of effect on you, on your body, on your brain, on your thinking. Yes, it does. So that's what we are going to talk about. What happens? The net is really actually making you more superficial as thinkers right yes it is so what are the consequences see internet is filled with information so much endless information and it has been fed to you from multiple senses you know, you hear things you see videos you see pictures you read about things you read messages on your whatsapp and whatnot right so all these informations actually make you compulsive why see there was a time when you needed more information obviously if you are new to a place anywhere right you come to a new school you come to go to a new place settle down uh, so you you'd go to a new office right you want more and more information right and why because you are afraid you are scared of what of whether you will fall back on uh, on your performance right whether you will be over um, uh, you will be overburdened by the new expectations. So you are afraid. So you want new information. So you want to learn, right? Same thing applies in Stone Age, that kind of a place. Way back in thousands of years back, when in Stone Age times, in when there were predators all around, when people or uh, the primitive humans were living in the in the forests, in the woods, and that time they also had this curiosity because they want to know everything what is around them so that they should know where there is a threat to their life so that they can survive right now there is no such threat to your life but still that you have the same brain and that brain actually enjoys information there is a certain level of dopamine and serotonin which is secreted in your brain which actually gives you a little pleasure in knowing gaining knowledge and that's why over a period of time this information gaining from the internet no matter whether it is useless or not becomes a compulsive behavior so you keep on checking your whatsapp checking your youtube checking your emails whether you have any whether you're missing on something or not so this actually actually has a big effect on your body on your brain what is the effect see there is no there is no uh, uh, what we call as deep thinking here there is no critical thinking possible without 
memory foundation now what is this see when you actually think about or gain some kind of information it actually goes into your sensory memory when where you sense the information either by touching either by listening either by watching or whatever ways that these kind of all the senses may be involved so it goes into your sensory memory and then into your short term memory now when you actually revise it when you actually when such kind of an important information is there then you see it again and again and again after a while after a certain time not on the same day then it goes into your your long term memory what has happened because of this internet compulsive information seeking that whenever you have any important information which you want to actually send into your long term memory at the same time you are being bombarded with all these useless information about the world about about jcbs about the viral memes about politics and jcbs i don't know what not sunny leone and jcb and you are your focus your attention on that particular important information which you wanted to send into your long term memory is 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 gone your focus is gone your attention is gone and that's why you are not able to put things into your long term memory which is very important for critical thinking because think about it you always analyze thing based on your long term memory right you know that the uh, there is a gravitational force there is something which is very something like a basic thing like if you will jump from uh, if you will jump from your roof then you will fall down you will get hurt right you know that basic information now there are certain physics that there, there is biology there is medical science so there are so many basics which you need to put into your long term memory so that you can analyze additional short term information maybe about a patient maybe about uh, you know uh, a damaged software maybe maybe about something in your office right if you really want to solve a problem if you really want to make something new do an invention do something great in the world you need to have important basic informations into your long term memory but unfortunately because of these kind of viral trends and this kind of compulsive behaviors on the internet we are unable to do so anymore and if this continues no wonder the next generation will not have new thinkers they will not have einstein will not have those kind of people who actually had so much focused information into their mind they didn't even care about cutting their hair they didn't even care what is going on around the world right so what are you doing here what are you doing you are basically confusing your long term memory by putting useless useless information into your short term memory right and that gives you pleasure yes it does that's what is called mental masturbation so that's what you are doing when you are watching jcb videos when you are watching so many mimes and other things which are practically useless for you right it's okay to have a hour of you know fun and uh sometimes spared in the whole day of fun but think about it think about it how much percentage of the information you are gaining daily is actually useful right think about it and then talk to yourself what are you doing in your life so this video was very important because you actually need to assess the practicality the usefulness of the information which you are gaining right you have to focus on things on especially on the internet right using internet is not bad but it can be a tool and it can be very confusing it can lead to mental disorders as well so make sure make sure you know what you are doing and don't lose your focus and attention on important things while watching these useless things and then there are other people who are making such videos right they are making mimes they are making you know videos on jcbs on these oh, viral pubgs and other things they are gaining views they are gaining important uh, you know people they are gaining subscribers but 
quite frankly if you will see many of these youtube channels or other people don't even have subscribers but then one of the uh, one of the videos actually gains a lot of views just because of these hashtags jcb ki khudai etc 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 90% of them are actually uh, are actually angry and are actually um, thing are actually questioning your your own senses that why are you actually watching all these bullshit trends but still aren't you watching them you are aren't you wasting your time you are so think about it again right you are not just wasting your time you are actually decreasing your cognitive focus cognitive attention and your ability to actually grasp and put knowledge learning ability which is dependent on the ability to create more and more long term memories so please at least inculcate these characters these focus in your kids at least do that much and plus you should not leave yourself start with yourself thank you so much for watching i'm dr paramjit stay connected stay healthy